This is Focus. And today we're looking at what happened at Capitol Hill, the consequences, and of course, the key factors surrounding that event. So here's what happened. On January the 6th, thousands of pro-Trump supporters besieged the Capitol State Building in an attempt to disrupt the formalization of President-elect Joe Biden. And these rioters were let, quote-unquote, let in by some pro-Trump supporters um, in the guise of officers, police officers and all whatnot. They vandalized, they stole public property and a good example was um, how they carted away the, the mace of the house speaker Pelosi Nancy Pelosi so sadly this event didn't go without recording deaths which is the, the, the terrible part one police officer has been accounted as passed on and four rioters also died so in the past days as an offshoot of what happened on the 6th right um, arrests have been made um, from flights you've been seeing those very interesting videos right and um, as of today about 87 rioters have been arrested and the FBI have posted some pictures and photos of people who they are looking for and they're on the no-fly list and you know of course subsequently charges have been open case files opened as well charges uh, filed so here are some key factors surrounding the 6th of january in the united states now this is focused 10 minutes of your time to look at a key issue that might affect you and i no matter where you are in the world democracy is was threatened and yes, Greece may have been the father of democracy, but a lot of nations look to America, to the United States as, you know, a very ground country where institutions work, whether or not you are for equality or not, you know, they just believe in the, in the, in the power of institutions, right? And it's been working so far, so far so good to an extent, of course, there'll be um, people who don't agree with that. So, backtrack a bit what started this what stared this what incited this insurrection Trump and his family Giuliani his lawyer everyone has been you know stalking the fire stalking everything just digging it up and um, here's what they said let me quote Trump jr. he said we are coming for you to the Democrats after the whole Georgia uh, recount saga of when uh, tr Trump phoned the um, lawyers and secretary saying you need to look for 11,000 blah blah votes that are missing that were never missing by the way anyways Trump himself the president the outgoing president whether he'll be impeached today or not said fight like hell in a tweet to his supporters his MAGA supporters and Melania, someone we all thought, okay, maybe she's been stifled all this while and she's itching to leave or something. Whatever happened, we know there's been um, a lot of people resigning from office re related to them. Not just Donald Trump's office, but also Melania's first lady office. And she said, released in a state, she said this in a statement saying, it was pretty interesting. She felt attacked. With these resignations and also people attacking her and the the very interesting part is when she mourned the rioters the past and you know this all suggests her support for what the whole family the Trump family has been saying or or um, suggesting they have called these rioters patriots of America. 
when you're a patriot you're fighting tooth and nail to to death for something you believe in that is right for the country and that is supposed to be right for the country right well in this case <clears throat> this has been called as an act of terrorism as it should be because this is extremism extremism pushes you to the limit to whereby you forgo the law you forgo your senses you forget that you are not above the law and you do you take matters in your hands and you think you can do you can set things right that you feel have been set wrong by whatever reason or whatever means so that's what happened here and Ivanka Trump said in her words her tweet she called the rioters patriots away from the Trump family let me now pick out the extremist features in here when renowned terrorists fight they claim that fighting for a good cause they forget they are not above the law no matter how selfish misleading their their belief systems are whether religious whether political it's still extremist because then they take matters into their hands and this January 6th was a clear picture of what happened it was it is called a coup insurrection treason everything every political term or jargon you want to use it might just work um so they had um tack tapes they had duct tapes that some 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 news agencies are claiming they were bombs they had arms a few of them had arms um, they had sticks and they were heading to Nancy Pelosi's office into Congress right where they were holding um, the vote to ascertain the election of Joe Biden the president-elect what did we think they had those those objects for they didn't use it to break down the door they just kicked the door because they were let in in the first place they were let in and then these things started unfolding so I'm trying to simplify the news here and um, the center of this is they wanted to take back America this is something happening in Nigeria as well it's happening in a lot of places but I mean this is the United States so we've got to talk about it when power is with a certain people that feel they own it it's their birthright there is a problem and that's where democracy is threatened now finally I have to address the elephant in the room inequality shone the brightest on the 6th of January not just what happened on the 6th but the aftermath um, during the Black Lives Matter pro protests we had some gentlemen some law students and graduates some barristers march up to Capitol Hill they were met with law enforcement agents that were fully kitted in their war armor like something was going down and I remember vividly a picture that really broke my heart I support women and I think we should all support women for equality everything but black women when they were protesting with the Black Lives Matter movement against bullying inequality and everything that is against diversity and acceptance they were put in chokeholds, they were pinned down by officers, whereas some women in the pro-Trump group were being held and guided by law enforcement agents down the stairs. Oh, that's so cute. It was, it was how, I don't want to cry or laugh or just roll my eyes, really. 
because that was the height of hypocrisy and if that is not dealt with yes people are calling for healing but guess what accountability comes before healing you have to show that you have to make an example out of this so this does not happen again and that's why the FBI is involved in and that's why there are new gates and fences being built and that is why the swearing in ceremony of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris is going to be very guarded and perhaps maybe no one's going to be there well every other nation needs to take note that democracy is not to be tampered with whoever you are whatever you believe in the law is above you you're not above the law okay I've said my piece Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.